Hello everybody, uh, we're back here at East Mills again and we're going through uh, some of our shop projects we have. Uh, here's the gator that we've been working on for quite some time now and it is now finished. Um, so we started out with uh, a golf cart and now you can see that it doesn't really look much like a golf cart. We, we took and kept the uh, components as far as the steering and the front suspension off the golf cart but everything else we've made here. Um, so the hood um, is all sheet metal and the floor, same deal. We made the tunnel um, there and uh, we used a uh, Raptor liner. It's like a spray and bed liner coating uh, to go over the whole body and frame uh, to keep it, uh, you know, to hold, so it holds up over time. Uh, we have a 16 horsepower uh, single, single cylinder engine um, and then we have a torque converter uh, that powers a gearbox, so we have forward, neutral, and reverse, and we have some aggressive uh, mud tires on the back, so hopefully we don't get uh, stuck anywhere. Um, and we've got a box if we want to, um, currently we're using it as a little bit of storage for some other stuff, but um, we have that so we can haul things around campus um, for football games, uh, baseball games, different activities that we need it for. Um, so. That's kind of the gator. So back again at East Mills, we have Carson Cron and Wyatt Franks. And uh, how are you guys doing today? Good. Um, pretty good. Yeah. Great. So uh, we started our uh, miles per gallon contest uh, this year as far as building our cars. Uh, if you don't know about the contest, it's held through Southeast Polk High School. And you're given eight ounces of fuel. And you're going to try and see how long you can run in that fuel. And you also have to uphold like all their rules as far as safety rules and uh, other rules so each year you have to build a new frame you are allowed to use certain components so we are in the process of building our new frames for the year um, would you guys like to tell me about your guys's frame so far yes um here are like here's the jig um, as you we use for the bottom and then these angled pieces that go up on it will be like the side rails and so they'll hold the person in from falling out with it, and that's all I got right now. So, uh, why? What's been your most challenging part of this build so far? Uh, probably cutting the angles right and getting the measurements all correct has probably been the most difficult. Yes, absolutely. Making sure your angles are right and sure everything fits right is crucial. Um, so here you're looking at uh, the steel car that I usually have the beginning students work on, and then eventually we'll pan over to see uh, one of the aluminum chassis that we have and. Uh, that are being started. They are significantly lighter, um, but and the reason I have the uh, the older kids do it is because they have had experience TIG welding, so they are able to weld aluminum, um, and that's something these guys will eventually get to. Um, so, what are some of your goals you guys have for your car this year? Um, to try to get as many miles per gallon on our car with the steel frame, and then see how far, how many like how far it would go and see how good it runs and try to get it tuned in right. Yeah, hopefully we're able to do some tuning with these uh, to get them dialed in. Um, do you think uh, this is going to be uh, something you guys are going to want to do every year? Yeah, probably. Yeah, great. So let's look around here. Um, we have a few more cars. So we have one of our old ones over there uh, that we're in the process of taking apart. Um, being we cannot reuse the frames, we can reuse components like engines, like I said before. We have to follow the rules and they are very strictly stated. So um, we are also going to have a contest here through our CTE day in April. So we'll have a chance to run those and our community members and other people um, from the corner conference will have an opportunity to come see those and watch everybody compete. What, uh, what's your next challenging thing you guys think you're going to encounter as you uh, start building these? Um, chassis. It'd probably be like the weight restrictions to see how light of a person we should put in the car on our welds and then uh, trying to keep all the like metal together from falling apart because we're all trying to practice welding and our welds aren't the best at the moment right now so we're all working at trying to get better at welding so. Yep, it's all about trying to get better when it's your first year. So, uh, what about steering? You guys think steering's going to be a challenge? Uh, yeah, probably getting the wheels lined up sounds pretty difficult. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of things that uh, take a lot of time uh, that you wouldn't think would, 
But uh, we're going to get through them together, and it's going to be a fun deal. Thanks for stopping in with us this year, and uh, we're really excited for what 2019 has to hold. 2018 has been great so far, but we're really excited to see what the future has, and I can't wait for you guys to see what we're going to do next year. So thanks for coming.